What's up, everybody? So, I want to share with you the secret to the 19-minute listing presentation. Okay, now let me give you... So, I went yesterday, listing appointment, pull up. Uh, a couple minutes later, they see them... Uh, the, my prospect come outside and they were kind of gathering outside husband and uh, it's actually a ex-wife, ex-husband situation. Um, I see him out there. So I get out of the car and I know it's like, uh, it's like 3.59 or appointment was like four o'clock. So I get out, walk up, go in there. We do our thing, get in there. I see right away they're, they're ready to go. They're already, you know, tell me what, you know, um, talking about, well, what price do you think we can get? And all this because we're, we're ready to do this we're ready to go what else do you need so they're starting to you know they're doing saying things like this as I'm you know beginning my listing presentation so we just kind of got down to it we did the tour and we came back and we talked about the this little few touched on a few points of the pricing strategy to make sure he gets absolute top dollar for the house will sell for more than it's worth he was super excited about it uh, then we just sat down we did the paperwork and I was out of there got back in the car 419 so maybe 20 minutes 20 minute listing presentation and that's signed sealed delivered everything everything all worked out it was all good so I just wanted to kind of dive back into this because this is someone I've been following up with since November and do kind of like a case study of what it took how did we get here to this 20 minute listing presentation and a successful 20 minute listing presentation so November 8th of last year is when I first spoke with her. Her house came off the market. And she said the house the house had actually gone under contract. And they said it sold too quickly for us. This is a divorce situation. We need to wait till after the first of the year. I said, perfect. And so here's what I said because this is a good lesson as well because I think normally um, I just would have probably moved on. But I said, okay, perfect. I said, Hey, at that time, when you guys are ready to make a move, I mean, would you be even interested in speaking to additional agents at that time? Um, that way you just make sure you get the house sold and you get more money than you can get any other way. And she said, well, yeah, we would. And I said, perfect. So we agreed to follow up. And so basically, we did. I followed up with her. So between November and when I actually took the listing, which was yesterday, May 1st, it's a great way to start the month, um, this is what went down and the effort that was went into getting to the appointment, number one, and then getting the listing signed. So there were 10 phone calls. So it kind of started out, they were going to do the first of the year. Then after the first of the year, I followed up and it moved to May. So they, they needed a little bit more time. And so I just, you know, was just keeping, keeping touching base with her between then. And then as we kind of got a little bit closer, like, um, we spoke in early April and she said, okay, I'm trying to work out his schedule, my schedule, when we can meet. So um, give me a call next week. And then I think next week it turned into like three weeks later was before I got a hold of her. But uh, I was calling her like every week and I think it, toward the end uh, a couple times a week. So that's where the 10 phone calls came from. So just stay in touch. Every time I called her, if she didn't answer, which was maybe only a couple times, I always left a voicemail. So then there were seven text messages. So in the interim, you know, if I hadn't talked to her in a while or whatever, um, I'd just send her a text, say, you know, hey, just wanted to check in, make sure that timing was still uh, what you guys were shooting for, you know, just something just to touch base. And then the whole while, uh, right after I talked with her, um, they started getting the postcards. And so they got probably four to six up front, like immediately, like every week after we spoke, then it probably went, uh, you know, they probably got one, you know, in, at the beginning of January, beginning of February, beginning of March. Then in March, I put her in my hot group. And then, then she was getting the postcard every week. So it all totaled up to be about 12 postcards, which is 29 total touches that it took to get this person to meet with me. And then once I went there, um, I want to say that I think that through this process, the pre-framing, which I've done another video on what pre-framing is and why it's important, this pre-frame process worked with, with this particular client um, because they really had no questions. I mean, they were just ready to do it. They just wanted to, you know, just quick questions about the pricing strategy, um, but there was no questions. It was just, hey, we're ready to do this. Let's get the paperwork signed. So I think through this process, uh, which worked with them, was the, this pre-framing 
It got them ready. They felt comfortable with me. They knew I was a professional. They knew I, you know, called. They, I do what I say and I say what I do. So I said I was going to call them and follow up. Then I did that. Um, or I'd leave a voicemail. And then I was checking in with them. I was sending the postcards so they were seeing me uh, constantly. So I just wanted to kind of share that kind of this case study because sometimes as we're kind of working through the follow-up, you're like, man, am I doing this? Does this shit even work? And you know what? It does work um, because this is undeniable proof that follow-up does work and you do get deals. Um, just because somebody is not ready right that second um, – because they, they have circumstances that won't allow them to, they will be ready. And by doing the follow-up, sending some text messages, sending that postcard, then that's what's going to get you to that appointment and, most importantly, get you that listing. So, appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, reach out to me. Hit me up on Facebook. Give me a call. Uh, happy to talk with anyone at any time. 678-761-2493. Have an awesome day.